Hi Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here for your reading Who's Thinking About You. Today we're going to be looking at who is this person that can't stop thinking about you Water Signs. We'll see what we can learn about them. So I'll be using a couple of different decks. Um, if you're after a private reading, please feel free to email me. Uh, don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoy this content and also to sign up to the channel for membership for extended and bonus readings. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up. Okay, who this person is. Who is it that can't stop thinking about you? Okay, so we've got a Gemini, a Taurus with the Hierophant that has come up so far. So one of these signs potentially um, is thinking very much about you. Okay. So the lovers could indicate uh, someone you're in a relationship with or someone that you see as your lover. Strong message of uh, tw uh, a twin flame soulmate here, water sign. So for a lot of you, your destined twin flame or soulmate is really, really, um, you know, imagining themselves with you, thinking about you. Um, so it could be someone you're connected to already in a relationship with. Maybe you're in the talking stage. The lovers does rule communication. So it tells me it's someone you're in frequent contact with that's thinking about you a lot. Uh, maybe they're constantly messaging you. You've been on dates with this person recently, but they are really, really thinking about you. Okay, they're imagining love, they're imagining being in a relationship with you, what you'd be like as a partner, you know, they're fantasizing about having that close-knit relationship with you here. So we've got the Hierophant as well, which is Taurus energy. So some of you have got a Taurus um, that is thinking about you and can't stop. Okay, so this Taurus energy, Taurus is Venus energy, this is the goddess of love. So this is powerful, there's someone who is falling in love with you. Okay, water signs. This person is falling um, more faster than they had intended. You've sort of triggered their anxiety, water signs. So I don't know if you've stepped back. Maybe you've told them you haven't wanted like a relationship. Maybe you said you want to go slow. Um, you sort of maybe pull the brakes and sort of uh, done that here with the Queen of Pentacles, um, especially with that Four of Swords. Especially if you've been in no contact with this person or you've sort of distanced yourself. They're really feeling it and it's activated their anxiety that they're feeling even more, um, more emotions towards you. You know, they're wondering when they're going to hear from you again. What, do you, Where is your next date going to be? Um, they're fantasizing about all those things. Um, this can also be the marriage card. So for some of you, this is someone thinking about marrying you. Uh, or it's someone you might be recently married to, you know, this is a strong commitment or a relationship. So for a lot of you, this is your person, you know, your committed person. For those that are in committed, loving relationships, this person is just so happy where you are. They're thinking about your marriage. They're thinking about getting engaged to you. Um, they want these serious things with you. They want to make you very happy. Um, and I can definitely foresee them doing that. Um, but I feel like there's other... You know, with the judgment card, I feel like this is someone you've maybe recently opened the door with. So I do get a fresh kind of energy with this person. Um, Four of Swords, this is someone you may have sort of spoken to before. And then you went into a period of no contact. Maybe you just fell out of touch or whatever. And it sort of will pick up again, maybe. Knight of Swords, I feel, is that um, anxiety that's being activated. So uh, this is someone who maybe you've had a little bit of a spat with. Okay, you've had a bit of a bit of a scruff with so you've had a fight maybe some sort of disagreement and they're still maybe thinking about those last things that were said um or something of this nature for others it's someone you work with with the queen of pentacles okay there seems to be money next to this person so it could be someone you work with or you receive the same salary from um, it could be someone that is a loyal customer or client of yours but they have romantic feelings for you as well so that's quite exciting. So that Queen of Pentacles um, could also be someone who has assets, who has wealth, who has money, um, that, that just can't stop thinking about you um, as well. Judgment can also be like a karmic energy. So for some of you, this is you have a karmic connection with this particular person. And that is also why they can't get you out of their can't get you out of their mind. Okay, strong Aries coming up as well. 
We've got a Libra and the High Priestess. Okay, this is someone who you've kept a secret from or someone you sort of kept secret. So if you had like a secret affair or a secret sort of flirtation, you were secretly talking to each other, this is the kind of person. This is a third party situation though. So I wonder if this is someone you maybe cheated on, cheated with, um, maybe someone that betrayed you, someone that sort of left you for someone else or dated, has started to connect with other people romantically. Um, either way, I feel like you share some sort of deceit or pain or hurt or even heartbreak with this person. So you have some sort of bond, but it's through heartbreak. Um, and that's the kind of person that's missing you. It could be someone you're recently divorced from here with a justice card, destined Libra. It may be someone you worked with in a group environment or you collaborated with um, before you went on a group date with. This person is thinking about you. Um, they could be famous or well-known. Okay, they could have a lot of followers on social media. They could be an influencer, a YouTuber, a celebrity, major or minor celebrity. You know, they could be someone in the spotlight, someone that's quite famous. Um, they're single though. They're single and they're out there. They've got an energy of freedom next to them. It could also be someone who has fought to be with you or has fought for you as well. What a science this person is thinking about you. But I feel with, with the High Priestess, um, it could also be someone you have children with or wanted to have children with. Maybe you, you spoke about having kids with this person. Um, but it's a highly uh, intuitive individual. So it makes me think this person has some sort of psychic gift or talent or ability um, maybe they're really into the spiritual arts. Uh, maybe they're a healer. Uh, maybe they're a yoga instructor. Um, maybe they're very spiritual or religious. But faith, um, religion and spirituality are coming up as very important to this person. So they're very intuitive. Um, they're also very caring. That high priestess can also symbolize this like motherly energy. So it's someone who cares a lot about you. Um, but you've either pained them or, you know, things didn't work out for whatever reason. Maybe you were involved with someone else at the time. So it's like almost what could have been with this person or they still think about what could have been. could also be like when they do think about you, they think about how things ended or how maybe you've hurt them or upset them or you've, you know, you've given them a broken heart maybe. Um, and they're still trying to fight and be strong through that. And maybe that's where the strength of the magician is coming up. But this, you know, you're definitely on um, definitely on this person's mind here, what a sign. So I will leave your reading at that. Um, thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. It does mean a lot. I do hope to be in touch again very soon. So thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes. Uh, don't forget to drop that like uh, on this video and also to subscribe to the channel for membership. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. So thank you again, everyone, and bye for now.